Peggy 3. One of the major criticisms in FIFA 11 career mode was the lack of player growth. So young players didn't grow quickly enough, you sent them on loan to another club and they just didn't grow at all. So obviously that's a major thing we have to improve this year and players will now grow at a much more rapid pace and they grow towards the potential they've got in our database. And to team up with the improved player growth we now have a youth academy or a scouting network feature in the game so that you can hire up to three scouts and send them off to different parts of the world for varying lengths of time and each month they will come back with a list of players they've discovered in that area and it will have vague imperfect information about quite how good a player may be, what positions this guy might become adept at and you get three choices each month basically you can take that player to your team now you can reject that player or you can keep scouting that player. And as you keep scouting that player month after month, the information gets more and more precise. So at first, your scout may say, I think this guy could be anywhere between a 60 and an 85. After a few months, he might now be telling you it's between a 75 and an 80. So do you wait or do you snap the player up early? If you wait, there's a danger that other clubs are in that part of the world and they may take that player away from under your nose. So there's the whole risk reward thing of act early and decisive or play the waiting game, get the information, but then ultimately get beaten to the signature.